What's up, guys? It's your girl, Stacey Cake, your host for What's Hot, and today I'm here with Scream 6 star, Josh Segura. What's up, Stacey? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Just to jump right into it, tell me what it was like playing the sneaky link of Sam Carpenter, a.k.a. Billy Loomis's daughter. What was that like, and what mindset did you have to get in for this? It was a trip <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> you know, I, I, of course, had seen five, so I knew what she'd been through. And then, mm -hmm. of course, for Danny to come along, you know, I'm sure they had those conversations early on. And maybe she hadn't told me right at the beginning that her last boyfriend tried to kill her, you know? So I think <laughs> I only laughed, you know? I was like, I wonder how long it took her to tell me that that was her history, you know? Uh, right. So we had a really good time. It was a big, big honor for me to join this franchise. I had a lot of fun getting to be ingratiated with the cast. They were already a family before I got there and they just brought me in with big open arms. So hopefully it's the core five next time, right? Let's go, you know, they gotta let me in. You know, they gotta let yes. me in. So I know you um, went to college in New York, so you're pretty, a pretty solid New Yorker now, would you say? Absolutely, absolutely. I tell people I grew up in Central Florida and, and in New York too, you know? I moved up there at 18. I've been there almost 20 years now. I've got three little boys. My wife and my three boys live in New York City, so yeah. So what would you say Ghostface, what, what do you think Ghostface will buy at the bodega you know? <laughs> <laughs> First off, if Ghostface interrupts me while I'm eating my bacon, egg, and cheese on a toasted egg bagel, your boy's going to be upset, okay? Yes. I'm going to enjoy my Sunday mornings, all right? What would Ghostface get? I bet he's got to get some, like, Cheetos, maybe a Gatorade. He's got to replenish those electrolytes because he's exhausted from all the killing that he's doing. If I saw him at the bodega, I'd definitely strike up a conversation with him. Be like, yo, man, let me see those threads. <laughs> What sneakers are you wearing? You gotta be comfortable <laughs> while you're running around these streets, you know? You need some good support, some padding down there. Yes, just don't announce your defense attack like uh, <laughs> the store owner. Um, but my next question was, um, you know, Green, they always say it's the love interest, and I'm not convinced that it won't be Danny somewhere down the line. So is there talk about a Scream 7 yet? In my head, there's always talk about a Scream 7. Even when I was doing it, I was like, let's go Scream 7, Scream 8, Scream 9. You know, it's funny. I feel like when we get to know Danny and then you see where he ends up with the sisters, with the Carpenter sisters, it's like he just has their back, you know? Why do we got to make him? Why do we got to Why do we gotta wonder about his actions? And then I'm sitting here at the same exact time going, be like, ooh, he might kill those sisters. <laughs> <laughs> anything can happen anything so can how, happen. how did you prepare as an actor for like the chemistry you have to bring on set to play a love interest you always go to the text and you always your text is your bible you know it's you 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 read the you read who the person is and you try to figure out what makes them tick what makes them love what makes them sad then you get on set and you meet your partners and working with Melissa for me was a dream. I'm a big fan of hers before I even got to work with her. So when we met for the first time, honestly, it felt like we were friends for years getting to play these characters where they have to trust each other. You're looking for trust in your partner and I trust Melissa for sure. And then you want to have fun. You know, you want to try to bring these characters to life and you want to try to, match what the writers had in mind and what the directors have in mind. But honestly, you're just having fun out there and you're playing with the dynamics of a new love, of a new relationship. And then uh, you take this new relationship and put it in the middle of the ghost face killings in New York. There's a lot of layers to that, you know, and uh, it's a really, really fun time. Uh, I had a really great time. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And I hope to get to interview you again soon. Absolutely, Stacey. <laughs> yeah, thanks so much. No problem. Have a great day.